Good morning. Welcome back to another video. It's been, I don't know, months really. <laughs> um, I've only got a couple of videos out throughout the, out the summer months. It's usually quiet. It is what it is. I make no lies about the summertime being my quiet time. But we're on a big open windy lock. We're going to do a bit of perch fishing, maybe a bit of pike fishing. Test out some of the snake shots. Just good to get out really. Uh, Michael and Stephen out with me the day. I had to change Stephen's top because he came out wearing a big fluorescent green thing. It was horrible. At least he's wearing decent clothing now. Um, but yeah, just cruising about at the minute looking for shoals. As soon as we see something then we'll put the spot lock on and give it a good hammer. Right, here we go. First cast. Stopped off on just the top of a drop off. Gonna cast a spoon. Because the spoon catches everything really. Perch, pike, trout, you name it, it'll have a go with a spoon. There's a few fish showing on the live now beneath us. Plot of attack then with the spoon is I'm just going to give it a, a bit of a chuck, cover a bit of an area, and then I'm going to switch on to the jig head and go a bit deeper. Water's reasonably clear, all things considered. I'm talking to you, sir. Now you think oh, I'm talking to him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're afraid to talk now all day? <laughs> just talk away. Right, I'm going to switch on to a jig head. I'm going to try these. Lucky John, guys. LJ Minnow, macro flavour. There is a bit of a twang off them. I thought it was Michael, but obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. The following is right up there. And just obviously, the fact that they haven't hit yet means they're not active yet, but. Let's soon get them. Yeah, so we'll go 10 gram jig head, I think size 2 I believe. There we go, something like that. Yo! That's a good one, is it? Yeah. That's a good perch. There's a net there beside you. Well, you can lift it straight in. <laughs> Just left the mini, should be alright. He's not that big. You can get bigger here today. You need panic and look. <laughs> what? Right, here we go. So I think I'm. Well, just knocked it off spot lock for a start. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give the pike a bit of a chuck. Not quite sure what one to use. I might try one of my motor oil ones. Give this bad boy a go. Give you a look at some of the ones we've done. Blood red perch. Could be worth a shot. You've seen some of the other ones. One of the main ones we're doing at the minute, alien trout. Funky looking lure. Then we've got the big daddy, which has been catching everything lately. We've got the the toxic bullhead. Probably the most popular lure at the minute. But I think I'm going to give the motor oil a blast. Where is it? Um, we should we drifted over so it's that general direction. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring us a. Uh, Gonna bring us back over a wee bit because we're I've sort of lost it there, but it's, it's it's around us here somewhere. I hold on, don't uh, fall in, please. 
Right, motor oil one, 15 gram weight on it, just to bring it right down. What I like about this is it actually changes colour in the water. I'm not sure you can see it, but it actually like, changes colour completely. It's like almost like a bright orange. It's mad. Keep a tight line, they should hit you on the drop. Yeah, that's it, they're starting to switch on. Happy days. I guess one good thing with the live is like, you know, you could be driving the bike going, there's no freaking fish here, this place is crap. And you can see them all there, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Don't know. Might have been the bottom just. That scared the life out of me. I was watching the screen and then the swivel came up through the eye. Yeah, there's loads on there. If you want a vertical jig that, Michael, just see the way he is, you can you can literally be a bit more aggressive with it, you know, a good a bit of a jig up and let it on and keep a tight line going back down. What a take! <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. I hope I caught that in camera. What a take! Oh, that was a good fish. Good fish. What's that? I'll try to bring it away because I don't want to ruin your oh, no. swim. Here, bring that out. Left that rod on, will you? What an absolute unbelievable take, right at the side of the boat. Oh, on the motor oil. I might be able to handball him in. Ooh. Uh, here, take you that rod from me. I just tried to jump in. Well, there we go. I'm going to get it back. It's bleeding a wee bit, so I don't want to keep it out too long. Probably pushing 80 centimetres, maybe. Oh, we'll get it back. Now he's away straight down. He took a big load of ball of bait under us. He took a, took a bit of a hammer in there. But motor oil, both side hit. Class. Pretty sure that's bigger than your one. <laughs> First one. First perch on the. Can't even remember what you call this one. It's very gentle take just behind the boat. Today, yeah. No. Okay. Right, so we're going to go and do a bit of trolling. We're going to stick with the motor oil. It's caught decent pike now. So we've got 15 grams of weight on it. I think Michael's going to troll his. So it the albino, so we'll use it and then the motor oil. And then we'll throw one perch rod out as well on a plug. So we're covering all options. And then we'll eat our lunch and stuff like that while we're trolling, so give us a bit of, yeah. bit of a break. Yeah. Did the lure come off? 
Right, I'm just going to slow us down here and bring this in. All right, so Michael has had a really big pike. It looked like a big pike on the albino snaker shot. It looked like the lure flew off though, which is not great. <laughs> yeah. Listen, if you get the pike in, that's worth it, isn't it? Reel that rod on mate, will you? Yep. Oh, he's not that big. He's, well, he's alright, like, but he's not as big as I thought he was going to be. That's and I'm pretty sure there was no... Uh... What? Yeah. Ah, uh, crap. Can you get the nasty, What? No, he's bringing in that all rod. Yeah, I never seen orange that second time it jumped. I think the lure's gone. You just have the banal one now. Forty-one foot here, boy. Oh, just in the drop off. Here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna the, the boat's gonna spin here, right? Because yeah. I've just hit the spot lock off, but it's just so we can try and get a bit of control onto this fish. Good scrap of it on there. Yeah, lure gone, boy. Yeah. Oh, don't go walk up to the front. I'm trying to take it away from the, the trolling motor. That's a 130 gram rod, like, and it's just buckling around it. Oh, oh yeah. Right as the rain comes. That's good fish. Here I got. Ah, it should be. Tank of a fish. Oh, thunder dead on. Thunder on the buzzer. Yeah. On the buzzer. There we go. First hundred centimeter fish on the snake of shots. Well done. All right, Stephen. Sit you down. Now we got a picture. All right. So didn't have the camera going. Stephen has hit an absolute donkey. If that's not 40, I don't know what else. <laughs> right, to measure that up. Once he doesn't flip out on you. Oh, 37. Oh, no way. Don't know, I don't let go of it, don't let go of it. <laughs> right. She's more broad than she is long, yeah, boy. Uh, 37, boy. Oh, 37 and a half. Lovely fish. Right, jump up on the seat there and we'll get a picture of you. That's a pike. If it's not, it's a really big perch. Don't panic now, just... Bring your line in, I don't let it go. That's a perch, I think. No. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> right, now, bring your leg down. Don't, don't, don't try and, don't try and horse it out. Oh, he jumped out! <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think... I, I don't know. It's a bigger fish like, but I don't know if it's going to have the length. <laughs> he really lost it. Close. Mm. Is that your biggest ever part? Oh. <laughs> 
Like we're calling them big lures, but like, you know, no. that's not when you're hooking out something like these. Boys. Well, sure it's 37 or not. Ah. No. No, it's short of it. He's not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're oh. Short of it. I think it's 35. 36. 37. Yeah. 37 on the buzzer. Yeah. But you, I thought you just weren't counting halves. Where were I don't know. Right here, you got the picture. Thanks, Double header. It's either a double header or they both landed over the top of each other. Don't panic, it looks like a big perch. Oh, don't panic, don't panic. Huh? Is it big one, isn't it? Right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you got one too? Yeah. <laughs> dear, dear. <laughs> What's the chance of that? What? <laughs> Mine's bigger, Stephen. <laughs> two mid to What's high thirties. <laughs> Class, well done boys. So that is it. Nearly home and thought I would come on and do a quick outro because uh, I forgot to do one when I was on the boat. So anyway, great day. Um, I have to say that's it was so so enjoyable and a day of big fish really to be honest, you know, a hundred centimeter pike and you know a couple of 37 centimeter perch which is nuts, as I said, I'm still getting used to catching bigger perch for a change over here in this country. Um, super, as I said, super enjoyable day. It's good to get back at the pike again properly. Although we didn't cast the pike lures that much today, in all honesty, it was just a few chucks here and there. Snaker shots were awesome. Um, they caught everything really, bar a few pike taking the perch tackle, or the perch lures, should I say. Um, all the rest of them were really smashing those snaker shots. So good fun with that. And um, yeah, good to get back at it. Um, I will try, I promise, and get a few videos out now, um, a bit more, a bit more frequently. Um, I think I've done three in three months, something ridiculous. So apologies for that. Um, but if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please jump on it. Um, and hopefully you can see us on the next video.